Unreal Engine is one of the greatest things to ever come into the filmmaking industry. From in-camera VFX and virtual production, to enabling indie filmmakers to make massive films with zero budget, it has truly revolutionized filmmaking. But if you've ever used Unreal, you've probably realized it's not designed for filmmaking. Like, at all. But why? The reason is because Unreal is at its heart a game engine, optimized for real-time graphics, creating game logic, and displaying scenes that look good at high frame rates. But for people like you and me, we don't need to be blasting 120 FPS frame rates, using game logic, or creating playable levels. We want maximum visual quality and streamlined control over things like our camera settings, lighting, color grading, and high quality rendering in an engine that's set up and optimized for filmmaking. After years of learning to adapt Unreal to my needs as a filmmaker, I had a thought. What if there was a tool that could take Unreal and transform it from a game engine into the ultimate filmmaking tool? The perfect balance between the benefits of real-time rendering and lighting and the features that filmmakers really want. And that's when Lightforge 2.0 was born. Lightforge 2.0 solves all of this by providing a full pipeline for filmmaking and cinematics that guides you through the entire process of setting up, lighting, framing, color grading, and rendering your scene, all with the Unreal Filmmaker in mind. I've taken my five plus years of experience using Unreal for everything from creating game cinematics to creating CGI scenes, compositing with live action footage, and even in-camera VFX, and I created a central console in the engine that allows you to easily control all of the important settings for filmmaking directly, without constantly swapping back and forth between actors in your scene or hunting through settings that you don't need. It's all exposed right in the Lightforge 2.0 central console. Just from using and testing this plugin myself over the last few months, I can tell you firsthand, it will literally save you tens, if not hundreds of hours on every project. But Lightforge 2.0 isn't just about speed and convenience. We heard your feedback from the original Lightforge plugin and we decided to step up our game. 2.0 now comes with high quality assets that are designed to not only take your lighting, color, and rendering far beyond the average Unreal Filmmaker, but also also to help you tell your story beautifully, visually, and give you back your creative freedom. The plugin now ships with an easy to use lighting system with done for you optimized lighting presets, a massive pack of gobos and lighting effects, 20 plus film emulation LUTs for use in Unreal Engine and your favorite editing programs, high quality render presets to push Unreal to the max and our console command guide so you won't be just pushing buttons, you're gonna actually know how to tailor your renders to fit each and every scene you create. Now I could sit here and talk about features all day long but it's easier if I just show you. So let's hop into Unreal Engine and I'll walk you through the entire Lightforge pipeline from scene setup to lighting to color grading and rendering. First, I'll load up the plugin, click the optimize button, and Lightforge 2.0 will automatically set up my scene for high quality cinematics. Next, I'll load one of the 20 plus included lighting presets based on my lighting needs. Day, night, interior, exterior, clouds, close up, the choice is yours. Our lighting layouts provide full control over the sun, sky, clouds, and atmosphere in your scene. I'll choose this sunset lighting layout, click add, choose my load location, either scene actor or scene origin, and add my layout to the scene. Now let's really make this scene pop with one of our 30 plus included gobos, easily added through the Lightforge interface. I'm going to go with these looping water caustics for a Blade Runner look. Lightforge will automatically set up all the media assets required and loop them automatically in the viewport. Now let's build our scene. I'll take my spotlight, move it up here, and shoot it through this hole in the ceiling I've created. Now let's dial in the look of our gobo. Lightforge 2.0 comes with a material which allows you to control all of the settings for your motion gobos, including the brightness, contrast, rotation, tiling, and offset. We also have the option to add a blur to our texture. We can also use a shadow mask, which allows us to overlay other textures to create light breakup or shadows in our current texture. We have full control over this texture as well, and we can even blur it to create interesting looks for our scene. I can also duplicate my gobo as many times as I want, or add a new gobo using the same process as before.
Now it's time to dial in my shot using Lightforge 2.0's central filmmaking console. I can control my camera, post-process volume, lighting, and fog all from one place so I can make changes easily without having to switch between actors or leave my camera's viewport. That looks perfect. Instead of guessing what my color graded shot is going to look like, let's use one of Lightforge's built-in film emulation LUTs. I'll add some grain and customize the contrast and saturation how I like. I can export this scene with the LUT applied, but I prefer to do my color grading in DaVinci Resolve. Fortunately, Lightforge 2.0 comes with matching cube files, so I'll be able to match my look perfectly in Resolve, Premiere, After Effects, or pretty much any other editing software. Now it's time to render my shot. Let's use one of Lightforge 2.0's built-in render presets for cinematic quality rendering. I'll use the included console command guide to make sure I have all the necessary commands applied to max out my quality. And done. Cinematic lighting, a perfectly set up and optimized scene for high quality rendering, and a beautifully color graded image in just a few minutes. Now, there's also a feature that I skipped over that I'm really excited about, and that's our lighting layout system. So in the tutorial, we already used it to set up our lighting presets in our scene, but it can actually do a lot more than that. Now, if you guys remember the short film I worked on with Joshua M. Kerr, Treasure of the Mummy, which was a demo film for the Virtual Filmmakers Playbook course, we actually used an early version of this plugin to collaborate. So with Josh being in the UK and me being in the United States, it was hard to share the massive Unreal project and work on it at the same time. So with a stripped down version of the project, I was able to actually create the lighting setups for the entire shoot and then package them up with Lightforge and send them over to Josh who was able to then load them into the main project where he could easily organize them by shot, move them around during our shoot day, and we could also easily swap between lighting setups with just one click. If we didn't have the system, we would never have been able to complete that shoot. It just makes collaborating on big projects like that so much easier and it's also a really handy tool for just staying organized. So. All of this that we're providing is designed for one thing, to make you feel confident, efficient, and creatively free working in Unreal Engine so that you can truly focus on what's important, making your film and telling your story. So we're currently offering Lightforge 2.0 at a heavily discounted price for the initial launch because to be honest, we just wanna get this tool out there and get people using it. And the whole goal of this channel is to make your filmmaking experience not only easier and better, but also super affordable. Now, if you're already a Lightforge user, you're gonna be getting this upgrade at an even bigger discount as a thank you for your amazing support and for trusting us to help you with your Unreal Engine filmmaking journey. Just keep an eye out for an email from us with all the details. If you don't see it, reach out through the site and we'll hook you up. Now, if you'd rather stick with Lightforge 1.0, no worries. We're gonna keep it updated for the next few engine releases. We're just not gonna be adding any new features to it since all the big improvements are going into Lightforge 2.0. So thanks again for everybody who stuck with us on this channel and in our communities. I really can't wait to see what you guys create with this plugin. If you have any questions about it, leave those in the comments or send us an email through the website. And don't forget to like and subscribe so we can get this out to as many filmmakers as possible. If you have any suggestions for courses, features, or future plugins, definitely make sure you let us know those in the comments as well. So thanks for watching, good luck creating, and I'll see you guys real soon.